And welcome back to Mass Effect 3. Thank you, human. Welcome to Batarian State Arms. Nothing we want there. We're doing a couple of things here. We're looking for photo opportunities. We're going to go see if Kelly Chambers made it out alive. And then we're going to learn about Metagel sabotage. I'm waiting. Waiting? Waiting for who? Oh, for my parents. They put me on the rescue transport and said to wait for them here. They'll come find me as soon as they can. Uh, I guess this is a safe place. Look, if anyone bothers you, let me know. I'll take care of them, okay? Sure thing, sir. Thanks. I get the feeling that uh, that's actually quite spooky. We've got the same face. You were supposed to be a lot younger than you are, but they can't do children with their animation system. That's not a very good photo opportunity. Okay, well what about these two then? Why is that a great shot? It's two people stood next to each other. I never got this mission. Alright, there's Kelly over there. Uh, Kelly, and there's disturbingly a sort of another Kelly. <laughs> Shepard, you saved my life again. What happened? Cerberus troopers came through here to secure the docks. They lined us all up. Then one of them started asking around for me by name. But they didn't find you. Their record said I went off grid. If I hadn't changed my identity, I don't know what would have happened. Thank you. Interestingly, the uh... so many here had to leave loved ones on their home roads and try to comfort them, but I know what the Reapers are capable of. Damn it, I'm telling you someone sabotaged the medical dispensers. No, if I knew who, I'd have had them arrested. It doesn't matter. What matters is that I've got Torian soldiers dying for lack of medication. Uh, if you didn't speak to her at all, then you'll find out she's dead because you'll walk past. I think it's these guys over here, and one of them will say, "Did you hear?" They called out Kelly Chambers, and she, she, she basically Cerberus line everyone up and ask them what their name is. And she goes, "Oh yeah, my name's Kelly Chambers," and gets shot in the head. Son of a bitch. It's very uh... Hey, man. James, enjoying yourself? Yeah, yeah. Try not to lose everything. Those clothes are Alliance property. Have a little faith, Lola. I have a little. Remember when th that would be in a conversation wheel dialogue thing and we would actually have control? Also, aren't you playing against Dana Vosk? Leader of the Blue Suns. You just gonna stand there and watch? You're kind of making me nervous. Commander. You're playing cards with Dana Vosk? Hey, I've assumed full control of Eclipse, and we're committed to moving forward with Ari. Don't be a stranger. I don't really sound like that. Extranet says your alliance military. Ha. Um, looking for Metagel. God, this is a boring episode. I can give you the location of some ruins. Prothean. On Gay Hidden in the Hades Nexus. Are you kidding? If you could get past the Reaper patrols, I'm sure you'd find something valuable. That's got to be worth something. Please, my family is starving. I always found it bizarre that the only ship in the entire galaxy that can stealth it past the Reapers is frickin' the, the Normandy SR2. That's that's weird. Yeah, always found that weird. Thank you, Commander. I'll start editing it right away. Mm. All right, let's go say goodbye to Thane. Except let's not. Let's jump cut somewhere else. Listen, I thought of something. No, it can't wait until I'm back on duty. The Hesperia period. 
Their statues have legendarily accurate profiling inscriptions. Can we use that? It's my money, and I'm closing my account. Your account helps fund Citadel defense. If you shut it down... Have you seen Palavin? Or Earth? You can't escape this war. At least here you've got the Council fight. But to fight, they need money. Money this bank has loaned them using accounts like yours. Okay. Okay, damn it. Leave the account open. Besides, how can some place like Sanctuary promise more safety than the Citadel? You're right. Guess all we can do is hope for the best. Badass Fully. As you can see, uh, Matey Boy's gone. Welcome to Elkos Combine uh, Arsenal Supply. Not that he had anything up. Mm, that's quite nice. Any opened goods can only be returned for store credit. Um, I recovered the Book of Plenix. It's waiting for you in Bay D24. Earth Clan, this is a priceless gift. Thank you. Welcome. You may oh. help my people remember themselves. Oh yeah, that's a thing where um, <clears throat> the Volus originally was supposed to be all gifty and nice, and then uh, now they aren't. <laughs> right. Where else here do we need to go? Courtyard, Sisek outpost. Uh, uh, so that's where. Okay, this is a quick warning now. Uh, here I am, Jimmy Fails. Uh, I'm hoping if I play online, it will make the single player stop crashing. I don't know why I think that, but I do think that. So we're going to give it a go and see what happens. Oh. Please don't crash. Well, excuse me. I'm sorry. You need to hear this. Oh, Blue Rose of Ilium. If these humble words reach you, then I have joined my ancestors. No. No, no, no. My dream was to be by your side, a weed beside your beauty, twining together in the warm Tachanka sun. Oh, Char. But if my last days must be with Krant instead of kindness, Still, I will remember the perfume of your scent and the soft touch of your petals. Let my broken bones build a wall around your garden so you and the flower we planted together can grow safe and strong. Thank you. Uh, I should... I need to go. And that's that side quest from Mass Effect 2. Oh, God, I've broken. There we go. From Mass Effect 2. God, this game's so broken. Don't crash, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. Hello, Shepard. Nice to see you. We don't have anything to say. Where's next? Officer no. Commander Shepard, do you have a minute? Can I help you? Jordan Knowles, E-Crimes. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. I've got a saboteur hacking key systems. Power, communications. It's bad. If you've got time to help, check out this console. Got it. Looks like a collection of access codes. They're Batarian diplomatic codes, from back when they had an embassy on the Citadel. If you can use your Spectre access to find them, I can shut them down. I can access restricted intel at the Spectre office in the Embassy. If I find anything, I'll let you know. <laughs> uh, the frack is Saleya. I have no idea who Saleya is. But we'll walk all the way up. Oh. I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. Maybe these heating stabilizer schematics could help. This is amazing. The colonists, my sister, will be most pleased. Thank you. I am in your debt. It's a heating unit guy. Okay. I'll move in and make the kill. Uh, Don't answer that. So there's an assassin, which I accidentally walked past and triggered. We have to keep enforcing the law. Same as always. Without that, everything goes to hell. 
Look at Paladin, my friend. We're in hell. Everyone on the Citadel knows we're at war now. Cerberus caught CSEC by surprise last time. You need to make sure that never happens again. That's what I'm saying. Forget the small stuff. Support defense and security and take down anyone who threatens the peace. Have you got a mustache? You sound like we're under martial law. After a coup attempt during wartime, maybe we should be. Yeah. Commander Shepard. Guess I know what happened to my backup. Excuse me? Same thing that happened to your hairline. I'm in C-Sec and civilian gear with a weapon. I know what I'm made. Just let me explain. Captain Aaron Summers, Alliance Marines, retired. Captain Summers? There's a prisoner here. C-Sec officer who helped Cerberus. C-Sec caught him when you stopped the coup. Now he's offering them intel on Cerberus to get a better deal. Why are you telling me this? Because he doesn't deserve a better deal. He killed people during the coup, good people. And he's former Alliance, like us. The way I figure it, he's our problem to fix. No, just because it's war. You've that man down, you're dishonoring the uniform just as much as he did. Like hell I am. I don't like plea bargains any more than you do. But the intel we get will save lives. Says who? Our superiors. The people we swore to serve and trust. Captain Summers. Yes, Commander. Sorry, Commander. I'll shut it down. Thanks. Ah, he's gone. <sighs> Anything else? No, we're done here. We're done here. We've got the Thane to die. We need to go to the Spectre Terminal. I fixed the sabotage. The metagel dispenser should be working now. Thank you. I'll get patients moving through triage immediately. I wish we could have found the bastard responsible for the sabotage. But this is going to save a lot of lives. Thank you. Oh my god, it's a sabotage! Okay. So let's go deal with that Batarian. Pressure's okay. No infection so far. Who are you talking to? Can I talk to him? Only if it's important, Commander. He's hurt bad. Take down the sedative a bit, but hurry. I peg his survival at 50-50. That's good odds. Are you Gorak? <sighs> Go away. Nothing to say. Not even what a terrorist's doing on the Citadel? You! Do I know you? <coughs> Every Batarian with someone on Aratok remembers your face. Planet that got caught in the Alpha Relay explosion. You butcher the colony. Will they regret? <coughs> Don't have the strength to... I destroyed Aratot's Relay to stop the Reapers from pouring through. <coughs> Easy for you to claim now that they're here. Don't pretend you have any remorse. You think I didn't feel guilty? I destroyed a colony. I've thought about the people who died, about how I couldn't warn them in time. In the end, I didn't have a choice. But I'm sorry, if that means anything. <laughs> if you're so remorseful... <coughs> Do you have any real guilt? Show some mercy. <laughs> Unplug this machine. Let me join my family. Yeah, let him die. He's a butcher anyway. Oh. Dude. It took three seconds after he turned the machine off for him to die. Mm. It's pretty, uh... I can't tell if he's still moving or not. <laughs> Anything here? No, okay. What else? Uh, the club. 
Anything going on in the club? Yeah, I really don't like the way they do. Uh... How's the head? Good. Concussion's almost gone. Good. When I heard you were injured. It was stupid. I should have ducked when that wall came down. Something good has come out of all this, though. Got new equipment. Sent me a set of Vortex armor. Man, summoning supplies shouldn't mess that one up. Oh, I've heard those are pretty good. It's great. It'll only be safer inside a tank. That's why Vortex gear costs more than I make in a year. So why can't I have Vortex armor, then? There's Jack. This. Look at this. All it took was a Cerberus attack on the Citadel to get folks around here to pay attention to the war. How's this any different from normal? Can't you see the desperation? This isn't happy dancing. This is forget my problems dancing. Look at the arms. If a guy waves his arms like that, he's worrying about a lot more than looking stupid on the dance floor. That's surprisingly observant. I've had time to watch a lot of dancing from the sidelines. Speaking of which... Dancing? Watching from the sidelines. What do you think about me and Edie? And then you can hit on him? Why not? <laughs> because I could break a bone just from some light over the clothes action? That's always a risk. But then, so are the Reapers. Yeah, I wasn't planning on dating Harbinger. You know what I mean. If we all ended up dead this time tomorrow, what would you regret? Getting a shattered pelvis. And a broken heart. Such a stupid idea. If you could be out there right now on the dance floor, would you be waving your arms? Yeah. Sounds like you got bigger things to worry about than looking stupid. Yeah, guess I do. Now, if you'll excuse me. I miss after life. Yeah. Haven't broken anything yet. That's a start. Anyhow, thanks for the drink. But why'd you drag me out here? You uh, still got that motion freighter? Yeah. Looking for work. Might as well. What you got? <laughs> Steve! Shepard, you made it. Come have a drink with me. God, what happened to your eyes then? You're looking happy. You had it right. Yesterday can't change. Tomorrow, we might all be dead. Today is what matters. I'm not wasting it. I wouldn't have thought a club would be to your tastes. You don't have to get all hot and bothered to appreciate graceful dancing. There's an energy here. There's light. Graceful. And purgatory serves the best drinks. Here. To you, Steve. And to you, Shepard. A good friend when I needed one most. Well, let me tell you about Thank my you. dead husband. For everything. Yeah. And we can shepherd dance. Jack. Ugh, this sucks. What have you got there? 
Duty roster for the students. It's what I do for fun now. They've got us spread out across Alliance units. Reinforcing barriers, modding ammo, that kind of thing. How are they holding up? They're fine. They're not the ones reading duty rosters while on shore leave. Complain if you like, but I think military life suits you. Hey, running back to the Alliance was your lifelong dream, not mine. Come on, plenty of combat, free room and board, and people you can depend on. Yeah, yeah, maybe your little suicide squad taught me something about teamwork. Speaking of which, thanks. My guys are handling the support stuff well. Still see some action, but they're not on the front lines. They've saved a lot of lives. It'd be a hell of a lot more fun with you. You find bigger fights. But the little shits are useless without me. I gotta stick with them. Cause I'm dependable now, apparently. I blame you for this, Shepard. <laughs> Come on. What? The duty rosters can wait. Right now you're on shore leave. Duty. <laughs> Shepard, everybody knows you can't dance. Unfortunately, the fade out wasn't good enough there, and I saw them instantly. Look, look, the oh, it's crashed. No, it's not crashed. But did you see that? They did two seconds of dancing animation and then froze. Haven't broken anything yet. That's a start. Right, off to Huerta. Oh, this is a talky talky episode, isn't it? No, I'm seeing it here too. We're low on metagel and synthetic blood, and we don't have enough volunteers. If we could get the rings of a loon from the Salian Nebula, we could declare a cultural crisis. People would have to listen. No, they're not just symbolic. The Asari revere alone. She wore these rings after learning medicine from a fame herself. She was like a Dalatress for your people. If we displayed her rings, we'd get more Asari support in the hospitals. Uh, yeah, and we, uh, the thing is, everyone slagged them off when in Dragon Age 2, their entire quest system was walk here and press spacebar or press X. But they did the exact same thing here, and I imagine it will probably be the same in Dragon Age 3. Although as I understand that most of the people who made these games have now been fired. We're at this little farm. We killed a few enemy scouts, and it's, it's quiet. The shuttle gets called away for support, so I'm there for the night. The humans get me dinner and show me around. One of them, this freckled farm girl, maybe 15. She wants to hear all about what it's like to be a commando. You were probably the most exciting thing ever to land at her farm. Yeah. Well, she's saying she wants to be a pilot, and I say that life on a ship is grimy. And she asks if I'd like to use their shower. Going by my records, you'd been on active duty for more than three weeks. Probably no real chance to get clean in all that time. <sighs> Pretty much, yeah. Ah, uh, that's not how PTSD works. Um, anyway. Eventually you can either get her a gun or decline her Welcome request for a gun. Yeah, let's get more Medigel. Be safe. Shop S Smart. Uh Knowles, this is Shepard. I found one of the code locations. Okay, I'll shut it down. Maybe. That's for a different thing. Yeah, we're not worrying about that right now. There's got to be something. I don't know what Cerberus was packing, but we're going to lose this patient. Without a new treatment plan, we're stuck, and I can't think of anything beyond what we've already tried. I know, but I can't think of anything else. Can you? Buddy. Yeah, I know the console's there. God, this game is so broken. Who's in that one? Oh, that's Caden's whole room. Who's in this one? I understand Palavin is very busy, but this is one of your own generals. He was stabbed with a poison blade by a Cerberus soldier during the attack on the Citadel. We can't identify the task. We're barely keeping him alive. 
patients. Who are we to choose who lives or dies? That's not what we do. We help our patients, all of them. Everyone makes sacrifices in wartime. You'll make yours sooner or later. I'm sure I will. But I'll do it without betraying my oath or my patients. It's not that simple. If we aren't <clears throat> careful about this now, we'll end up losing everyone. Then we'll find a way. Look, we have more fortunate patients, right? Yes. And I hate to say it, but the fortunate ones have far better survival odds. <laughs> and more credits. So we ask them for donations. To get more supplies. For those without credits. What? Are you saying what I think you're saying? That's... You know, that, that actually might work. It sounds like American healthcare to me. Can I help you? I'm looking for a drill named Thane Krios. Well, we have a drill, but not under that name. He was injured, stab wound. He's a regular patient here. It's all right. It's all right. I see. Dana Vosk again. A lot of people who look like Dana Vosk. Doctors care a lot of the trauma. However, Mister hmm. Krios is in the final stages of Keppel syndrome. At its worst, Keppel syndrome interferes with his blood's ability to carry oxygen, and he lost a lot. Now they've given him transfusions, but frankly, there was a very limited supply of Drell blood on the Citadel. I'll get more. Give me his blood type. That's not going to work. Only one of the Drell on the mission is a match, and that Drell Sorry. is in with him now. We did all we could to help him through surgery, but his body can't replace lost blood with new cells. Too much shock. His son, Koliat. He's in there saying his goodbyes. You might want to say yours. Please don't glitch on me. Please don't glitch on me. Commander Shepard, my father mentioned you were no longer incarcerated. I don't know if you remember me. I'm Koliak Krios. I came to donate blood and, well, he asked me to take off his oxygen mask so he could be comfortable. I don't think it will be very long. Did you know this was coming? A troll. Your father helped me save a lot of lives. I'd like to be here. Of course. I have every right to be. He's my pain. See ya. I'm afraid I've picked a bad time to leave. You couldn't disappoint me, Thane. Not even now. Such pleasant things from your lips. Excuse me. Breathing is difficult. I see ya. It will be soon. I need to know if the counselor survived. Yes, father. Three are alive thanks to you and Shepard. Udina? He instigated it. He is dead. There is something I must do before it gets worse. I must... Wear down stone and sand. <coughs> Kalihira, wash the sins from this one and set him on the distant shore of the infinite spirit. Guide this one to where the traveler never tires, the lover never leaves, the hungry never starve. Guide this one, Kalahira, and she will be a companion to you as she was to me. Last verse say she. The prayer was not for him, Commander. 
He has already asked forgiveness for the lives he has taken. His wish was for you. By thing. He took across the sea. Unfortunately, it glitched and his eyes opened again. <laughs> I've never seen them not open again. It's really disconcerting. Um, okay, we have to leave now. Uh, I think we've done everything. Yeah, we've just got the uh, last little quest to do. Okay, we're going to do the last console for the Batarian dude. I don't know if I've shot the rest of it. I doubt it. You. Still waiting, I see. Any news? No, but they promised, right? They'll get here soon. I'm sure they will against the council. I'll drop by later to check in on you, if that's okay. Okay. Yeah, you're not as good as friend zone, Turian. Son of a bitch. That's what I think of you too, Vega. Alright, let's uh, do this then. Knowles, this is where the last access code was used. What's that, Commander? I'm losing your signal. Commander Shepard, Captain Gahero Balak, Batarian External Forces. I've been waiting for this. Everything that has happened to my people is your fault. I believe he's from a DLC, but because we didn't do Mass Effect 1. Eh. I didn't destroy your people, Balak. The Reapers did that. We were a proud race. A beautiful race. Have you seen what the Reapers have done to us? I'm trapped on this citadel. Our warships only know the locations of Reaper forces because I've tapped Council transmissions. I am the highest ranking military officer left in the hegemony. And I can't save my people. But I can end you. You can kill him. <laughs> um, yeah, basically the Vitarians got whooped. Uh, and he was a main character in the DLC from the first game, which they didn't play because it's rubbish. Um, and yeah, we're gonna sign him up. Balak, you sent that asteroid toward Terra Nova to help your people, but what does killing me accomplish? Vengeance. The Bahak system. What? They would have died anyway when the Reapers showed up. You know that. I am uniting the Krogan and the Torians. We're the best. Hope for this galaxy. If you care about your people, <laughs> our ships are yours. Shepard, are you all right? Fine. You won't have any more trouble with those codes. Is that? Do you want me to arrest him? I want you to put a bullet in his head. We're all making some sacrifices today. Let him go. Spectre authority. Understood, Commander. And thanks. Yeah, um, doesn't really make sense. He's just some asshole. Unless I, I, as I understand it, he was a terrorist in the first game. I might be completely wrong about that because, as you've seen, I, I've played the first game once and I did not enjoy it at all. I hated it. I hated the combat. I hated the inventory system. I hated the dialogue. I hated the characters. None of it really grew until the second game, where they nailed it, which is why this game is so sort of weak. And when I say weak, I mean weak, seriously. I mean, oh look, you can't have a can effects. Um, a can effects. Have you discovered a way to run FTL spaceships without an ESO core, Private Talavi? No, ma'am. Then consider this a serious assignment. Intel's expecting a Cerberus raid. Cerberus? <laughs> Cerberus? There a problem? I thought we were fighting Reapers, ma'am. Give it a week. You could be. I think she's got a brother in Cerberus or something. I know the Valhalla threshold is Reaper territory now, but Prothean Tech could help the cruise. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, I'm aware this is an insecure ship. But surely the Reapers would be aware that the Crucible is being built. Ugh. 
Caden. Hey, I wondered where you went. What's up? I'm trying to wrap my head around what just happened. You sound angry. Never stood gun to gun like that with someone who once had my back. Oh. Now it all went down, it's got me... I don't know. Okay, talk to me. Let's have it. If I didn't back down first, I feel like you would have taken me out. <laughs> oh, if it had given me the option. I trusted you, and I knew you'd come around. That's all that matters. Main thing is we stop the coup and Cerberus is off the Citadel. Yeah, but sometimes the way a thing goes down does matter, Shepard. Later when you have to live with yourself. Knowing that you acted with integrity. But it matters. You're talking about Udina. He gave me no choice, so I took the shot. Any soldier would have done the same. Including you. He would have, had I not taken the shot. Okay. Look, Shepard, there's, uh... There's another reason I'm here. Hackett offered me a position. But... I'd turn it down in a second if there was a chance to join you in the Normandy again. Yeah, go on. Couldn't imagine meeting the Reapers without you. <sighs> Thank you, Commander. And Shepard, I need you to know that I'll never doubt you again. I get you back. Good to know. Welcome aboard, Major. Aye, aye, ma'am. Shepard's taking the death of the love of her life remarkably well. Let's have a nightmare sequence. Oh, no. Shepard, I got Anderson patched <coughs> in. I was just getting him up to speed. Odina? That SOB was always power hungry. But this? He wasn't in charge. Cerberus was just using him to take control of the Citadel. What the hell for? I don't know. Not yet. Could have been a lot worse. Shepard stopped the assassination attempt on Counselor Valorn. Kyline. What? Your assassin. I'll have Hackett send you my reports on him. I take it you two have met. Kaylee Sanders and I had our share of run-ins with him. I shot him in both legs once. Thought that might be the end of him. But it should have begun on Omega even stronger. Elusive man patch him up? That'd be my guess. Given what they were able to do with you and Grayson, it's a safe bet Lang's even more dangerous now. I'll take whatever advantage I'll I can break get into your room bastards. and eat your cereal. Their attempts may have had at least one unintended side effect. I received word from the Asari counselor. They're requesting an update on the Crucible. Lang has them scared. Enough to send help? Mm. Yes, the Asari and Solarians are both throwing in their support now. How's your progress on the Crucible? Good. Our estimates suggest we've completed nearly 50% of the known work. So quickly? Once decoded, the schematics are designed in such a way that allows our scientists to easily translate the information. It's not Prothean specific. Hmm. Are we any closer to understanding how to use it? That's still open for debate. Utilized in the right fashion, our scientists are convinced it can generate enough energy to destroy the Reapers. The question is, how will it dispense the energy, and in what form? You mean, how do you stop it from wiping us all out? Exactly. We think the catalyst is the key to determining how to focus its energy, how to direct its energy at the Reapers alone. I Don't wish. Work. You'll find the answer, Shepard. I wish. I'll send you an update on the schematics. And in the meantime, we'll keep building. And we'll keep fighting. Make sure there's an Earth left to come back to. You've always trusted me. I won't let you down. We're still in this. The gods of war haven't given up on us yet. Good luck, both of you. Anderson out. Commander, the Tyrian fleet is stretched thin. We need more support ships. And the Quarians are willing to talk. Understood, sir. I'll look into it. Be careful. We've got reports of instability along the Geth border. Hack it out. I like Hackett. Hackett's a wicked character. <clears throat> Shepard, do you have a moment? No. Nope. A contact within Asari High Command was insistent I pass on a distress signal no, to I you. don't want to do banshees. No. Something they can't handle? From what I can tell, they sent several commando squads to investigate. None of them returned. They didn't ask me directly, but I think High Command is hoping you might help. What's your take on this? That they wouldn't ask for help if it wasn't important. The colony's coordinates are on the galaxy map. I'll try to figure out what's going on. Uh, let's have a look at our war resources. Uh, yeah, I think we're... Uh, 
I think we're gonna gonna make it somehow. We've got the Batarians and the Citadel Defense Force. See that one there? Their forces are thin because they're focusing on smaller crimes and misdemeanors. Uh, yeah. And we've got the Destiny Ascension, which will show up in uh, the cutscene. Unless you don't have it because you lost it in the uh, first game, which we didn't play. So yeah, we're um, <coughs> 11,858. I think the max you need is about 4,000. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be okay. <coughs> Okay. He panicked. I like Udina. I might be the only person in the universe who Come likes on, him. I've got a lead on something interesting. Have you got a minute? Have I got a minute? I don't know, mate. Have you got a minute? Commander, I found something you need to see. What have you got? A group of Cerberus scientists cut ties and fled. Perhaps they finally realized they were on the wrong side. We don't know what they were researching, but they were among the elusive man's top scientists. They could help build the Crucible. Maybe we could recruit them. Lots of Cerberus people think they're doing the right thing. I know I did. And you were right, Commander. Whatever crimes Cerberus is committing now, I was on Horizon when the Collectors attacked. Really? You'll recall I mentioned growing up in the Terminus systems. I was visiting my family at home. Then why didn't you get While taken? the Alliance was running studies, you were saving me and my family. Has the Alliance tried to make contact with the scientists? They've been unable to find them, but they're searching. As is Cerberus. I've been monitoring Cerberus communications. <coughs> I've charted signal frequency from various Cerberus cells by location and cross-referenced known ship movements. You found them? I believe so, yes. Nice work. Put it on the map and I'll give it a look. Thanks for your time, Commander. Why were you... I, I hate that, like, seriously. Both her and Vega were sort of, you know, in the same area as Shepard in Mass Effect 2 without actually being seen. Cerberus is going to have a hard time recruiting now. So Cerberus wanted to go into politics, huh? Nice job shutting those assholes down. Didn't you used to work for those assholes? Something about leather seats. <laughs> I worked for Cerberus when they were vigilantes helping the helpless. Now they're a little too mainstream. And evil. The important thing is that you kick their asses. And Caden's back. He even remembered the first rule of serving on the Normandy. Don't shoot the commander. Go easy on Caden. He's been through a lot. Yeah, like drawing a gun on a superior officer. Nearly getting the council killed. That's not going to look good on the yearly performance review. <laughs> Caden's such a dick. Commander. Hello, Shepard. What's on your mind, Edie? The destruction of the Reaper on Tachunka. It is rare for a technologically superior force to be destroyed by an inferior one. Yeah, so now all we need is a gun that fires Thresher Moss. That was a joke. I'm sorry, Shepard. I was contemplating. The Reapers are more fallible than they proclaim. Despite its best efforts, the one on Tachunko was destroyed by a worm. <laughs> this has caused me to reassess the probable period of time before I am non-functional. You're worried about dying? In a sense. My processing power is consumed with calculations to help us combat the Reapers. But I can run those scenarios with the rest of the crew. May I ask you another question that troubled Jeff? Here we go again. What is the purpose of synthetic life? It's not that different from organic life. A free-willed synthetic chooses what it wants. But the purpose of organic life is to preserve itself long enough to replicate copies of its genes in succeeding generations. My purpose is not so clear. 
The other successful synthetic life forms that I have examined for comparison are the Get and the Reapers. Reproduction isn't all there is. We find meaning in the work we do. Good deeds we accomplish, love. I see. I will search my files on the biographies of humans to see if prominent figures follow the pattern you suggest. It appears many humans did in fact do so. That was quick. Gotta love quantum computing. Shepard, I will alter my processing power to give priority to your stated goals. Duty, altruism, love. <laughs> Duty. Wait, wait, you're just gonna turn yourself good? Can you do that? It should take some time. If I have further questions, I will speak with you again. Thank you. And that's why the ending always feels awkward to me. But that's uh, that's that was basically her loyalty. Uh, now we've got people we can talk to, we can talk to, and we'll see if they want to chat. I'm pretty sure... Uh, Dr. Chakwas gives us a mission, as it were, something about refugee supplies Mother, or something. Dr. Chakwas sent word that she'd like to speak with you down in the med bay. Oh, fucking snap! <laughs> uh, so that's the trainer wants to play chess. Kelly Chambers. Gave us some engineers because we saved her life. Diana Allers wants an interview. Uh. Oh, I forgot about this letter. I'll see you there, thing. Jack, but we already met her. Uh, Victor sent us a mission, which we got to do on the Citadel. Vega wants to chat. There's Kyleng's dossier. Uh, the dossier of Kyleng, who is a massive tool. Strangely enough, doesn't say broke into dude's house and ate his cereal. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we've got to go back on the Citadel briefly. Okay. Um, oh, I've now unlocked the Citadel DLC. Uh, oh. I guess I go to the Spectre Terminal then. I have excellent news. Your daughter's paperwork has been processed. What? You said it was impossible. How did you pull it off? Well, I talked to a few friends, called in a few favors, maybe even stayed up a few nights. I wasn't sure I could pull it off, but everything's in order, and your daughter leaves for Thessia tomorrow. Hi, Renee. To travel with her to ensure she reaches her relatives back on the homeworld. Thank you. Thank you so much. Why don't you go spend the time you have left with her? I'll take care of the rest. Spoilers, Thessia falls. <laughs> um, alright. Why do future dresses show off your hips? You know who we're getting now. Uh, one of the better actors uh, of the world. Sadly, now deceased. Yeah. Yeah. 
Was the Volus ambassador here earlier? Yes, he was, Commander. I need in. Spectre business. I'll unlock the office when you're ready. Yeah, I'm ready. He said that and I thought we were going to get to go on a zany adventure, but no. Get the tracking receiver. How long till we killed Kolak? Once the credits go through, I was beginning to think you weren't interested in the money. I'm not. Because Korlak worked for Cerberus. What'd they do to you? None of your goddamn business. Be waking up. This is Commander Shepard. Can you hear me? <sighs> yes. Yes, I can hear you. Tell me where you are. Uh, we're still near the Presidium. CSEC will check Selkish arms when they realize I'm missing. They won't give a damn when they realize you sold them out to Cerberus. Wait. Cerberus is planning to attack a colony that... Stay calm. Help's coming. <laughs> uh, a loading screen. Usually I cut these out. Zaid used to work for Cerberus. Conversations aren't triggering. Damn. We need you alive to stop Cerberus. Cerberus is after a Turian colony. Kill me, and they get it. Drop my name. Shepard's investigating. She's a recent acquaintance. How recent? I don't know what that sound is. Been a while, Zaid. Shepard. Glad I wasn't just making an ass of myself over a hunch. Oh. Undisciplined bastards. This is what I get for signing up at the last minute. Where's Korlak? 
I'm here, Commander. I... You saved my life. I almost died because the Turians thought I was still with Cerberus. You should have gone to C-Sec if your life was in danger. And be thrown into prison? No. The things they would do to me after the damage I caused. What intel did you give Cerberus on this colony? Information on a Turian planet's defense system. They'll strike soon. But if I tell you which planet they're attacking, Cerberus will know I turned traitor. Turn? You already betrayed your own people. We saved your life. Tell us what planet you put in danger. I can offer a bargain. The Volus bombing fleet. In tactical terms, it's worth far more than a colony. Or you could give us both. You can warn the Turians there'll be an attack, Commander. That should be general enough to ward off suspicion. <laughs> Beat him, Zaid. You tried to do the right thing before. It failed because you trusted the wrong people. Now here's your chance to make up for it. You're giving us Volus support, and you're going to help us make Cerberus pay for using you. I can't. You can. Waste of everyone's time trying to appeal to a Volus's better nature, Shepard. Aphis. The colony's name is Aphis. Cerberus wants its shipyards. And the bombing fleet? Yes, it's yours, Commander. I'll speak with Citadel Security about this... incident. You have my thanks. Took him long enough to spit that out. Zaid, what are you doing here? Later. c Six on their way. Won't be too pleased with the mess we left them. Catch up with me at the docks, if you like. Yep. Oh, we got Renegade. A tiny bit of Renegade. <laughs> okay, let's go catch up with Zaid at the docks if you like. Surprised this place can still get supplies for a menu like this. Maybe it's better if we don't ask how or where. I'm glad we're taking the time to do this. I could use a sanity check. Things have been pretty crazy. You know, my life flashed in front of my eyes on Mars. And there weren't enough moments like this with people I care about. How are you feeling these days? Feeling up to whatever the Reapers throw at me. And grateful that I convinced you to sit down for half a second and relax. Yeah. I think it's a good time for us to have a heart to heart. What are you drinking? <laughs> if you're trying to butter me up, it might take a nice steak sandwich, too. So? Shot of whiskey and a good old Canadian lager. Think they have it? More likely to have Batarian shard wine. At my parents' place in Vancouver? <laughs> Drank more than a few beers on their balcony, looking over English Bay. Yeah. Beautiful view. You know what, though? I feel good about our chances. Yeah? Yeah. Lets me sleep better at night. You're not sleeping, Caden? Maybe a little restless. Look, we didn't come here to talk about work. Here's to that. Let me tell you something that I was thinking about. Okay. I'm not the kind of guy who's the life of the party, who has a lot of friends. Really? No, it's true. I mean, some people even find my, uh, integrity annoying. Really? No, seriously, I've... <laughs> okay, fine. Well, now you're messing with me. Okay, look. I just want you to know that I consider you a friend, okay? A good one. Damn, this is way less awkward in my mind. Mostly, I guess I just wanted you to know that I admire you as a commander, and I value your friendship. You're my brother, Caden. I'm glad to be part of the crew. What'd you call it? A sanity check? Mm. Sanity check. How about a... Sorry. 
Uh, Thane died. No one give a shit about Thane? No one cares about Thane. Just no one cares about Thane. See if Liara wants to talk. <coughs> Hello, Shepard. Nope. Ugh, come on. Stuttering frame rate is my boy. What the hell are you looking at? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Figured you'd be too busy recruiting goddamn armies for this war you're in charge of. I could always use more help. I'll bet. I've seen footage of what happened on Earth. Tell you what, I'll see if some old contacts of mine are still around. Can't promise you anything, but if enough of them are still breathing, I can lend a hand. Do you know the current leader of the Suns? Vosk, don't remind me. Little scumbag shot his mouth off on a patrol mission once. Got half his squad killed. Real popular after that. We couldn't boot him from the suns fast enough. Should have ended his tenure with a bullet. <laughs> Do you know the current leader of the suns? Oh. Welcome to Batarian State Arms. Damn it. Little scumbag shot his mouth off on a patrol mission once. Stand strong for your killed. people with Batarian State Arms. We couldn't boot him from the suns fast enough. Should have ended his tenure with a Please bullet. Please observe all cast restrictions when making a purchase. Ah, dear. I think that's so, everything here. Bitch. Well, you should About be playing time. poker with Dada Vosk. I know, I know. You don't have to say anything, but I'm about to make my comeback. You're just gonna stand there. And nice. Anyway.